So the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer got released the other day and I'm, I'm very pumped for this film. It's unreal how pumped I am. But it kind of got me thinking of uh, stuff that I'd like to see. And specifically that is going to be about, and what I'm going to be talking about today, is the after credit scenes I'd like to see in Spider-Man Homecoming. And uh, I'm going to give a little uh, description of both scenes that I'd like to see. Obviously, I'd like to see the mid credit scene and then obviously the actual after credit scene because that seems to be the thing now that we have two now. So for the first one, what I'd like to see, I'm going to set the scene for you now. So get right into it here, what I'm going to do here for you. Uh, basically, we're in this kind of uh, dark room and one of the villains that was in the, the first Homecoming film is talking to this kind of, this, this dark figure. You can't really see the person and, you know, seeing this Spider-Man's becoming a you know, much bigger threat than we thought. You know, we kind of thought this this guy was just just something pathetic, really. But, no, he's actually turned on it to be more than we actually thought. And... You know, it's building up, building up, and then he kind of just says, what are you going to do about this? The great Norman Osborn. And then in the shadows, the figure appears, and for me, I would love to see just Brian Cranston come out as Norman Osborn. For me, I think that would be just great, and just a little bit of perfect casting, I think. I really think Brian Cranston would just absolutely nail Norman Osborn. And I think that would be a nice little kind of hint and tease to... Hopefully the next films, which I would like to see, uh, I don't want to see Green Goblin, this is what I'm trying to say, because I want to see Norman Osborn. Norman Osborn is a great character on his own, without Green Goblin. He realised, and I think Brian Cranston would really excel in that for me personally. And at the end of that kind of scene, the camera pulls out, and you see the Oscorp Tower being constructed not far near the Avengers Tower in New York. So that would be quite nice for me personally. And in the next one, the last after credit scene, which we are quick kind of after credit scene for me. So like in space, and we're seeing the moon, and the and we get closer and closer to the moon. It's getting closer and closer, and it gets really quite in de detail into this into the moon. And then what can appears is black goo of the symbiote disappearing. Just teasing us. Hopefully, I'd like to see the Venom, uh, if I'm honest, for the, like, the big villain. I, I want to see a really good, like, Hulk-sized villain. That's what I want to see of Venom. I think that'd be uh, really good for me. So, yeah, that's my kind of two. I really hope. I'd love to see Norman Osborn being the first one. And then in the second one, a great good tease to the symbiote, and, and hopefully that would be the actual big storyline uh, for the second one. So that's what I would love to see. What would you guys like to see as an after credit scene? Uh, there's obviously many. It could be maybe a teases to 2099 Spider-Man. I don't know. There's many. What would you like to see? Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Uh, more videos in the future. So until then, see you later.